Here with his picks is Chris Grisanti. He's the chief equity strategist at MAI Capital Management. Chris, it's good to see you. And, you know, Visa in some ways is a barometer here. I mean, I think there's more than just Visa investors who are breathing a sigh of relief. Um, but you think that this shows how important stock selection is. Oh, absolutely. Kelly, it's nice to be with you again. So, so Visa, it's a very interesting report. And, and we own Visa, and I was pleasantly surprised by the report because there is so much uh, headwinds in terms of international travel and, and war in Ukraine. And, and they were able to post a great number. It's somewhat ironic that Boeing, which obviously relies on international travel as well, is really suffering right now. But, but we do think that's somewhat short-term, and that may prove to be a long-term opportunity. So... I don't want to ask you this early on in this segment, but I, I just can't resist. We got to talk about Boeing, right? I mean, if stock selection is more important than ever, then getting it wrong also maybe hurts more than ever, right? I mean, sure. I, remind me, I know we've talked about it in the past. Were, were you, are you still a shareholder? We are still a shareholder. In fact, I actually like the setup now for the rest of the year. Um, it, it's, it's the tale of two cities for our portfolio today. We own Visa, Microsoft, and Boeing. So, uh, but on the Boeing side, um, they really have written off just about everything. And there's about three good things that are going to happen between now and year end. We've got a, a, an analyst meeting in September. We should have the 787 certification and China should finally recertify the 737 max. So those three things could easily lead to much better prices from here. So I, I honestly think today is a 7% off sale and, and should be taken advantage of. Just one follow-up comment on, on all of this. This isn't just a Boeing segment, but it's pretty damning if you're in a duopoly and you're still doing this poorly. I mean, people don't have a lot of other choices. Boeing and Airbus sure. are basically the only two games in town. Well, well I, I would push back a little and, and say that's true, but if the government doesn't let you sell the planes, for, for valid reasons for the 787, for example, you're not going to be able to make up the ground. Hmm. And if you look long term, you're absolutely right. It's a duopoly. It's a product that will clearly be growing over the next 10 and 20 years. It's a terrific place to be long term. All right. Sticking with it. So let's turn talk about a couple of other names. You mentioned Visa you like. Uh, you still think Boeing could be a, a buy here. What are some of the other names and are there any major changes in the kind of stocks that you're looking for right now? Well, in this kind of market, Kelly, I think the most important thing to do is one, think long term. So if the market drops five or 10 percent over the next month, you don't want to get scared out of new investments. The second thing is Buy those companies that have already reported. You didn't want to buy Boeing yesterday, hmm. but today you know a lot more information and you're getting, you know, you're getting it cheaper. So two stocks I really like that fit those circumstances are, are Google and, and, uh, and more bizarrely, the home builder NVR, which hmm. is a real contrarian. I think that's a name that Bill Smead is a big fan of as well. Why NVR in particular here? Well, all the home builder stocks are down at least 25% uh, with higher mortgage rates, of course. So obviously the, the big question is, are higher rates going to kill the housing market? We don't think so. All our channel checks with the home builders say demand remains strong. Their problem is getting enough supply and getting through supply constraints. But we're confident they'll do that. And by the way, NVR is kind of the chicken way to play the home builders. They actually made money in 2008, 2009. They're buying back tons of stock. The company's a third smaller than it was seven years ago because of all their buybacks. And, and, and so that's a management team we can trust. And at nine times earnings, that's a 10-year low on PE multiple. So, you know, we just really like it and nobody else does. So that's always a good sign.